welcome back to my channel. My name is Shazia and this is Thought Addiction. Um, so today is officially the start of my fourth month of Accutane. So I'm just going to go over last month, which was my third month, what are the side effects that I had, and I kind of want to go over the products that I used during this month and show you a little bit of the medication that I'm on for Accutane. So to start, um, I haven't had much changes when it comes to the side effects that I talked about before, um, which is the dryness, and that is the biggest one that anybody would go through when they're starting Accutane. So it has actually hasn't been too bad. I thought it was going to be worse since I am now taking three pills a day instead of the one pill that I did in the beginning when I first started on this journey. So it wasn't too bad. I went to the dermatologist today because as you know, you have to go every month so they can go over your blood work that you do and as well to find out if you are pregnant. So everything was good. My blood work was good. Um, I told him about like rash, like a rash that I've been getting. I don't know if you can see it, but like you see how is this white spot here? It's like all over my legs and stuff. And he said that it's just eczema from my body trying to get used to the balance of the the medication. So it's nothing to really work, worry about. So just continue moisturizing as I've been doing. But as far as everything else, it's been pretty good. Nothing else has changed. Um, just trying to remember that I'm now taking three pills is hard in general because it's, it's a lot of pills to be taking every day. So to show you which one I'm on, I'm on Amnesteam. So again, the actual active ingredient is Estetrenoline, I think. No, I bought, I bought that um, master's degree, just saying. But this is the active ingredient in any of the brands for Accutane. So the one I'm on is Amnesteam and I'm on 40 milligrams. So in this box, you get, um, I believe it is three packs of 10. So as you can see here, three packs of 10 and inside you would get something that looks like this. So it'll be three of these. And then when you open it, it has like all the information about birth defects. So they try to make sure again that you are paying attention to not getting pregnant because of the side effects of getting pregnant. Um, and then these are what the pill looks like right here. So they come in these little capsules and you just push them out like so. And again, back here, they show you no getting pregnant. Like it's the biggest thing that they keep telling you about it. So you push it out and the pill comes out of here. So in each box, you get 30 pills. So since I am taking three pills a day, I get three of those boxes to accommodate for all of the pills that I have to take for the month until I get my next um, batch. So I am still only taking three pills, not only because that's a lot. I'm still taking three pills a month. He didn't want to raise it because it's been doing good so far. And I still have a, a ways to go on this journey. I think he said another six months, which is crazy to me because this is now my fourth month and I still have six more months to go with it. And it is a lot to remember to do, but I mean, overall, I am happy with the results. As you can see, my skin is pretty clear. This is the clearest my skin has been since probably elementary school, which is crazy to me. This is the first time I can actually run my hands on my face. My hands are probably dirty because I was just eating cannolis. So this is the first time I can actually run my hands on my cheeks and it be smooth. Like there is no underlying bumps or anything on my skin. I do have the like blotchy skin as I mentioned in my last video, but it's not anything crazy. And again, I am just moisturizing my lips with a regular chapstick. But when it comes to my skincare um, and the products I've been using, because my skin is dry already, I used to use black soap because it helped with my acne in the beginning. But black soap, if anybody has tried it, it is very drying. So I had to switch it to something else. Um, 
I found this a clarifying tea tree face wash it looks like this it is from Natura right here I actually found it at Marshall's I usually go to Marshall's a lot because they have a lot of products that I've ne I would never try because I usually go to the drugstore and get like Neutrogena or something but I think it was $4.99 if I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken um it is paraben free so it's very soft on the skin it doesn't um get a lot of suds as you would think it would which I don't mind but it's it does make your skin feel clean after you're done so this is what I use as a face face wash in the morning and at night um and I also the next step I will use is a toner so this again I found this at Marshall's and it's from the same brand it's a clarifying clarifying Lord. It's a clarifying tea tree face mist. But instead of me just spraying it on my face, I use um, these cotton rounds, which I got from Face Values. And it was a pack of three. Because I use them so much, it was a pack of three of these, which I thought was better. So you get 300 of the face rounds. So I use this and I spray, I mist it on the face rounds and I actually wipe my face gently with this toner instead of just misting it on my skin because I've noticed that um, when on Accutane, your skin kind of sheds a lot more. So even after I wash my face and I clear my face with the toner and the face rounds, you'll see a lot of dirt and like dead skin coming off even after washing my face, excuse me. So this, and it smells really good and it has um, witch hazel in it as well. Um, this, I don't know why I got it. It's just me shopping at Marshall's. I find a lot of things at Marshall's that I don't need, but it is a, um, the brand is Spa Life. And this one is silver. So it's a collagen infused nourishing serum for healthy, youthful looking skin. So it, it has like silver in it. Um, you just use, I use three drops. I put it on after I tone my skin, put three drops, two on my cheek, one on my forehead, and I kind of just work it up on my skin i don't work it in circles i work it up because it's supposed to make your skin feel youthful and get the collagen back in your skin so i work it up and work it up on my forehead and kind of work it on my neck as well and i let that dry for a little bit i do that at night mostly but sometimes i'll do it in the day but that step you can skip if you feel like you need your skin is looking dull or something like that that's when you will really use that you can skip that step if you don't if you don't want to or use another serum that may work for you um so as far as moisturizer that is the biggest thing right now is because my skin has been so dry i've been trying to test out different moisturizers what i've been using or what i mentioned in my last video was cetaphil and this is the brand the brand and the type i've been using so it's the daily facial moisturizer and it has spf 15 because your skin is very sensitive to the um, the sun this helps a lot again you don't have to use too much of this just probably a dime size on you know maybe on your cheeks one on each cheek and then on your forehead and kind of just rub that in gently and then I also had what I mentioned before was I had the travel size because sometimes I'll go outside and throughout the day and my skin will start getting dry so I'll just use this to touch this up and it's just a regular moisturizing cream it doesn't say anything about SPF but it does say it's for very dry sensitive skin which is what I have right now <clears throat> so this one I use in the day the Cetaphil but since my birthday is Saturday happy birthday to me eh, eh. My birthday is Saturday, October 5th. So if you guys want to wish me happy birthday, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And since it is my birthday, you know Sephora got you on the birthday gifts. Thank you, Sephora, in advance. Um, so I did go to Sephora and I got my birthday gift. And I decided to try Drunk Elephant, which I've heard a lot about. But um, I didn't want to pay full price for something that I didn't know if I was going to like or not. So I was so happy that I saw that it was one of the options for the birthday gifts and it had one of the face wash which I haven't tried yet but it also had their moisturizer 
So this is what I've been using for the past two days. It's the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This, I, I really do like it a lot. Like, even this small size I've been using for, I think I started using it on Sunday and today is Wednesday. And I haven't even got to the surface of it. I don't have to use too much at all. Really just use a dime size and it's very moisturizing. If you like things that don't have like smells or anything, this is perfect. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't have like a scent added to it. But I really do like this Drunk Elephant Moisturizer to use in the day because it's very moisturizing and it's lightweight. So for at night, I pretty much do the same thing. I wash my face with the same um, face wash I showed you. I do the toner, but instead of using these moisturizers, I use my good old shea butter, raw shea butter. This one, I actually, this is the whipped African shea butter and it was $3.99 plus tax, as you can see. This one I got in a local beauty supply store. If you don't have a beauty supply store that sells the shea butter, the raw shea butter like this, um, you do, they do sell them online on Amazon. They definitely do. And this I use on, at night because it is thicker and when it's hot, especially you don't want to be walking around with a thick layer of, it kind of feels like Vaseline if you put too much. But I use this at night because it just makes my skin feel good in the morning. And I use it on my body as well. So this is my face and body moisturizer. And this is every day for my body. At night, this is when I use it on my face and my body. So that's pretty much what I've been using on my skin. I would say use things that are not too drying, especially your face wash, because your face is already dry. So if you already starting with something dry, then now you have to build up the moisturizer to get back that moisture that you just stripped away from your skin. Um, so far for me, I will have to say Accutane has been really good to me and I'm so thankful that I decided to go on this journey because I am feeling a little bit more confident in my skin. I wear my hair back. I'm not worried about covering up a pimple or a dark spot or anything like that right now. I don't even wear makeup that much anymore. Um, before, it was like, oh, now I have to spend an hour to find a way to cover up these pimples that I have on my face. Is anybody looking? Are people staring? Like, I don't have that concern anymore, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, I know that I have a long way to go still because he said six more months. And that is a little bit stressful. But... Um, if it's the same as it is right now, then I'm looking forward to it because it's it's become part of my daily routine, so it's not too bad. But let me know if you guys have any questions on any of the products that I've used. What are some of the products that you use on Accutane? Good job, Jazia. What are some of the products that you've been using on Accutane? Or what are some things that are using you're using right now before you start? And do you know if you can still use it afterwards? Um, leave your comments down below. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.